Good morning and welcome to My Crafty Adventures. It's Saturday afternoon and I am on here to show you the beautiful springtime items I have purchased. Some of them are from the Magical Mixery store, which I'll show you first. That's a store on uh, Etsy that I love to buy different kinds of um, embellishments from. And then we'll jump into our Timu haul where again, just some soft, pretty springtime, beautiful embellishments and other goodies. So let's start by taking a look at Magical Mixery Store. Whenever you purchase from that store, everything comes so nicely packaged in a gauze bag. Uh, and it, it usually has the stars and the moons on it. So real, real cute. You can use these bags over again, which is nice. But look at all the fun stuff that's coming out of this bag and the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I am in a Maggie Home Swap and these colors just go so perfectly with so many of the collections. So let's take a look. The first thing I picked up is this uh, sequin mix called Maggie's Bouquet. And I just love it because it has the turquoise in there and the pink and the yellow and the black and white and the gold and it's really really stunning I just hesitate to take it out of the bag because I know me I'll spill it everywhere and I did pick up two packages no 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 three packages of that so I'm excited to use those for the swap that I'm participating in I also received a free gift of this beautiful uh, sequin mix. It's got lavender and yellow and pink and some white flowers in there. So, so pretty. So soft. I just love the colors of spring. Oh, it looks like I received another free gift of this other beautiful sequin mix. So pretty. I am all set for sequin mix for the spring, I think. And they all coordinate together really well, actually, so that's terrific. I picked up this uh, twine that has sequins in it. Let me open this up and show you. It has sequins attached to it. And it's so pretty. Here's the pink. Isn't that beautiful? And here's the mint. Very, very pretty. I can't wait to use those. I'm just so excited for spring crafting. It's one of my favorite times of year to craft because I love the soft colors. I picked up these adorable little fuzzy balls in all those beautiful spring colors. The mint, the teal, the pink, the yellow. Look at those. Aren't they so sweet and so fuzzy and so cute? And I'm, again, showing this to you in my little trinket dish. If you remember a couple of hauls ago, I picked up this collection of five heart dishes in this little carrier case, in this little holder. And I just love this. I'm so thrilled that I have these available to me now just to be able to pull things out and show you and make it a little bit easier. Let's see. What else? What else do we have? I did buy two of those. I bought these adorable little tassels and they come in the mint and the pink and the yellow and they're charms and white. Cute, cute. And last but not least from the Magical Mixery store, I picked up this beautiful ruffle trim and it comes in the lavender, the pink and the green, the mint green. And I love this. I love the scale of it because often when I buy trim, the ruffles are just a little bit too big for the projects I'm working on. So this is the perfect size and scale for some of the things that I'm going to be creating. Love this as well. Beautiful. Look at all those beautiful spring colors. Don't they just make you think of candy and macarons and all those beautifully colored things? Okay. So that's all from the Magical Mixery store. Now we're gonna move on to Timu, so I'll just kind of move these to the side. The first thing I purchased, and I haven't even opened it yet, is this case. And I purchased this to organize my bead findings, the things like 
jump rings and lobster clasps and um, what do you call those things? Eye pins. So it comes with these little teeny cases, which I think is going to be perfect for me to be able to do that. So I can put my six millimeter, my seven millimeter, my eight millimeter kinds of jump rings. I'm not sure what else I'll be able to fit in there for findings, but we'll see. We'll give it a try. There's one, two, three, four in a tower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 32 little compartments, which is really, really nice. And if it doesn't work for my jewelry findings, I'm sure I'll find something. I have sequins I could fit in here. I could do um, cabochons. I could do flat backs. I could do all different kinds of things. I think this is adorable. And if it doesn't even work for crafting, certainly I have a lot of miniature things that I'm working with for my dollhouse. So uh, I can always use it for that too. But I just think this is really going to be a big help. So I'll let you know how that does work out. And maybe I'll show it to you when I organize it. That's if I ever organize it. I buy all these organizer things and never really get things organized. So <laughs> that's actually my plan for this summer. I am planning on taking a month and just redoing my craft room and organizing everything and um, maybe coming back on with a video of that. So I picked up this very pretty berry paper. For some reason, I want to say I already purchased it, but I'm not sure. I don't know. It looks vaguely familiar, but it's awfully pretty. Kind of reminds me of that strawberry milkshake, but it's um, by Timu. So here we go. We'll take a flip through. So here we have this pretty page that has sort of a ledger on it and some flowers and strawberries and butterflies. And it has a nice thickness to it, better than what I'm used to seeing with Timu. So that's nice to have. And there's, see, there's two sheets of that. There's this beautiful, looks like cabbage roses with lace. Pretty. Two of those. Strawberries and raspberries. This pretty lace with the flowers and the strawberries. Oh, look at this with the beautiful roses or cabbage roses and the ledger in the background and all the green leaves. So pretty. What a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I like this as well with the strawberries, the sliced strawberries and the whole strawberries. And this is cute as well. It looks like a little order sheet, little ledger or order sheet, and it's got the butterflies and the strawberries. A wood grain pattern. This looks like a letter or some writing underneath here and we have the beautiful little flowers on the side in this image. Pretty, pretty papers. And I'm really impressed with the weight actually. Oh, look at this. It's very soft and vintage style with the lace over the ledger and all the pretty colors. strawberry with the kind of looks like it's hanging on a wood fence there and then we have some pink lace the last two pages pretty pretty papers I'm excited to use those those are awfully pretty you'll notice there's a, a theme going on here the next thing I picked up are these adorable straws and this particular package has cherries on them. Let me open this up and give it a Aren't those cute? Look at the cherries. Adorable, adorable. And we also have this strawberry pattern. The pink, these are pink with a strawberry on them. Aren't they cute too? Look at those. So those are going to be awfully fun to make. Uh, legs, pennants, all kinds of different things. I like those. Next I picked up these strawberry hair bows. I thought they were so cute and I could use them for crafting. It's fun to, you know, look outside the crafting department on Timu and those other stores and see what else is available because sometimes you really find interesting things 
that you can use and it wouldn't have even occurred to you to do a search for them. But look at how beautiful those hair bows are. So pretty with the pink background and they have the strawberries on them. And I did pick up two of those. I purchased these little cherry shakers. They're a little acetate shaker with red stars in them. So cute. Let me grab one of my little dishes here and show you those. So, so pretty. They just sparkle. And we did pick up a whole package of those. Put those over to the side here. This is uh, flower charms, beads, I'm sorry, flower beads. And you get the flowers, the little tulips. Let me just dump some of these things out and show you. You get the little flowers and the little stems. So you basically can just wire the flower onto the eye pin and the leaf onto the eye pin and it makes a pretty little tulip. Love those. I love my bead. I picked up these flat backs because I was running out of flowers and I like to add flowers to the centers of bows and things like that. Grab another little dish here. And these are so pretty and they just sparkle. There's the mint, the light blue, the pink, the peach. There's one peach, I think, in the white. Very, very pretty. I just love this haul. I had so much fun with all the good things that I ordered. I ordered this pack of crackle beads. I have a bunch of those, but I love to keep them in stock because they're one of my favorite beads to use. So always keep those on hand. I ordered these cute little pens for Happy Mail. And they have strawberries on them. They're all different patterns. Strawberries and, yep, I think that's it. Different strawberry patterns. And there's two of each. And then I also ordered these tiny, tiny cherries. These are nail art. And I really, I knew they were going to be tiny, uh, but I'm not sure I knew that they were going to be that tiny. So let me open these up, but I'll still get use out of them. Hold up one of these for you. Look at how teeny tiny that little cherry is with the stem. So cute. So I'll certainly get use out of them, even though they're so small. And then just a couple of oddball things that I ordered because I saw them and I wanted to have them in my stash. I did pick up this jam jar, jam jar die, which I think is really adorable. And that's gonna go cute with my strawberry theme. I also picked up this cutter, which allows me to cut around images. I hope it does. It's got a little blade in here and it's supposed to help me cut, you know, around instead of fussy cutting for example I can give this a try I'll let you know if it works we'll have to do a demo on that and last but not least I picked up these little wheels I don't know if you've seen these or not but they're so cute so they're little wheels roller wheels and the this part sticks on the bottom of something it can be anything I'm putting it on my Cricut and there's a whole package of them here. And that way I can roll my Cricut back and forth easily into the space uh, under my drawers and keep it out of the way. So just like I said, a couple of little oddball things and they adhere with these little stickies. So that is that for my fun springtime haul. I hope you enjoyed going through everything as much as I did. I can't wait to start playing with everything. And um, I'll come back with some reviews as soon as I can get things organized. Until our next crafty adventure, everyone, take care. Be well. Bye-bye now.